It's Thanksgiving. And I've been awake since... Let me think about this. A long time. I've been awake since yesterday because I worked last night. But I promised my family I'd make an angel food cake. Nah. Here we are. <laughs> I have some logistics problems, guys. For instance, I don't have any fucking vanilla extract. And uh, I don't know how that happened. But I don't. I don't. I failed. Makes no sense. I usually have like three bottles of it. But I don't. So, I will get to that later. Anyway, angel food cake. I've only made it once before. It was a long time ago. I don't remember. I thought it was good at the time, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Cake. Making cake. I'm real tired. We're gonna make a cake. I'm just gonna fucking make a cake. Cake. I'm following America's Test Kitchen's best whatever angel food cake. I don't know. My oven's set to 325. There's a lot of eggs involved. We're gonna be cracking a lot of eggs. To make a cake. I shouldn't have promised to make a cake. I'm regretting all the cake making. All of it. I'm gonna start with the annoying stuff. This is the angel food cake pan I have, which doesn't have a removable bottom, which makes things a little tricky for later when I have to detach it. You don't grease the pan for angel food cake. The ungreased pan allows it to rise upward. It's very, very sciencey. this cake. I can't get into it right now. My brain's real tired, but it's very sciencey. It's all egg whites. There's really no fat in this cake besides egg whites. I want to be fine in flour. But yeah, no, science. So you don't grease the pan. So usually this bottom comes out, so you just kind of remove the cake and then remove the top. But I didn't buy one of those. This was the best reviewed one by America's Test Kitchen. It's a Nordic ware, made in the United States. 18 cup cast aluminum. Um, I'll link to it. Uh, so the internet's suggestion is that you basically line the bottom with parchment paper. Um, unfortunately, every time I've done this, it's usually in a greased pan. So the grease helps to keep the parchment paper down. I don't know how this is gonna work with this pan. I'm gonna want this to be the actual up part of the, okay, I can do this. I'm fine. Where are we gonna start the shoot? I'm gonna have to cut a tube in the middle of it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Fuck. I already fucked up. It's already over. It's all done already. Damn it. Move. Circle. Scissors. My sink is full of stuff. Zeos is staying with me right now, so my entire apartment is a clusterfuck mess. Very exciting to have your brother stay with you. So exciting. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> I love him, but fuck, he's messy. He's so messy. I come home from work and he's just so messy. You know who's not really that messy? Chewbacca. She's staying with me too. She's sleeping on my couch right now. Got a tubey here. For people who don't know, Zeos is my brother. Chewbacca is his cat. I can't see the flip I'm doing right now, so let's just get rid of the excess. Jay is my cousin. It's Thanksgiving, so we go to Jay's house for large family holidays. I'm okay if I under if I overcut a little bit. I'm so tired. This is gonna be a nightmare. Last year I worked the night of Thanksgiving, so I was there to help cook, and then I went to work after dinner, which sucked in its own way. So this year I get to enjoy dinner, but I'm gonna be a zombie. So I guess sometimes, you know, that's how life works. Should I just like stab it? Uh, It's also wider at the base. Uh, that's not gonna be even at all. Much better. Sloppy cake making 101. Whatever. 
any sort of protection from making this stick in the pan entirely makes me happy, so whatever. I really just want the cake to come out of the pan, guys. That's all I really want in life. And to eat stuffing all day. It's the other goal in life. Okay. Flip. Aha! That's not too terrible. Not bad if I... A little uneven. I put the hole a little bit too far to one side, but you know what? Fuck it. That'll do pick. Now what's done. Now what? How make go? This is lemon that I juice. Uh, this is juice that I lemoned. This is... Juiced lemon juice. Fuck, words are hard. Here we go. So that's that. That's lemon juice um, that I just juiced. Mm, repetitiveness. This is cake flour, which is lighter than regular flour. I forgot the logistics. Let's see. Ba ba ba. Wheat flour, niacin, blah 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 blah. Nothing. Some of them have additional um, added to it. Something. I'm really not cohesive and coherent. I just, I can't. Please, please bear with me. So I need to, should take the sifter off perhaps. So we're gonna sift our flour and our sugar so we don't have any lumps, make it a little more aerated. And that way we have a, the cake is fluffier and has an easier time rising. Words are hard. This is gonna be three ounces of sifted cake flour. So scale is reading, put it in pounds and ounces. So. Sift. Make it snow. This might take forever. One. <laughs> okay. Sift, motherfucker. Continuing to sift. This is two and three eighths. Half, two and five eighths. Three, three ounces of sifted cake flour, which looks like it's snowed in my pan. I know I have to wash the dishes. I know, I know. So there's like no flour in this recipe, really. If you, like, that's nothing. For a cake, that's nothing. It's retarded. Silliness. Put the cake flour over here. I don't need it anymore. Next up is sugar. So we're gonna shift, shift. We're gonna sift sugar also. Uh, 10 and a half ounces of sugar. Ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, da Zero that. I feel like all this is on the wrong side. Let's fix this. I'm right-handed, so. Ah, but I wanna sift with this hand too. So that was three, a ten and a half. It must have been humid in here because all my sugar is lumpy, which the sifting is great for. I can't believe it's Thanksgiving. It's fucking November. What next? Christmas? Ugh. Six. Smells like, um, I'll do like iced tea. I don't know why. At least I remembered the lemon on the way home today. And I would have forgotten the lemon. I would have been upset. I don't know if I have a backup plan dessert. I bought cookies. 
nut free cookies. Because that's how life rolls when you have allergies. That's nine ounces. So Jay, Jay fucked up, guys. I'm allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, chickpeas, and some other random shit, right? So he made pies for Thanksgiving, because pie. Everyone fucking wants to eat pie. And what did he use as pie weights? Dried chickpeas. Because he's a cunt. You hear me, Jay? Do you hear me? You're a cunt. So now I can't eat the pies. And I hate him for it. So that's why I'm making myself a cake. I bought Jay pie weights, by the way, on Amazon. They should be there Saturday. <laughs> so next time, he has no excuse. Ceramic pie weights. Like a normal person. Unless you're cheap. Which, actually, to be honest, he's pretty cheap. Okay. So it's ten and a half ounces of sugar. Three ounces of sifted flour. Okay. I'm combining some of this into this. I don't remember how much. Oh, my back. Adjust, blah, 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 blah. Lower middle position, 325. Done. Have an ungreased large capacity tube pan ready. Done. And if the pan bottoms are removable, blah, blah, blah. Done. Next. Give me the next thing. Whisk the flour with three quarters of a cup of sugar. Place the remaining three quarters of a cup of sugar in the small bowl. So I'm putting half of this sugar into this. So I should just be able to put this on the scale, zero it, and then put ten and a quarter ounces into this. And that should be half, right? Theoretically. I don't know if I need the sifter again, so I'm just going to Stick that there for now. So let's zero that. What did I say? Five and a quarter. I need to whisk it. More air eating. So it should be exactly half. I don't know if you guys can even see the scale numbers, but I can. That's all that matters. That's five. Five and three eighths. Five and a half ounces. Perfect. So. Whisk. I mean, theoretically, I could just re-sift this together and that'd be the best way to combine this. wherever I have room in my kitchen currently, because again, Zeos, look, this is how you know Zeos is at your house, this is how you know. This is a Talenti jar, because chocolate milk and eggs happen in Talenti jars, apparently. Always. So, whisk the flour with three quarters of a cup of sugar, place the remaining three quarter cup of sugar in a small bowl next to the mixer. So I have my sugar and flour, and I have my sugar. There's so much sugar on my counter. Oh well. I guess I'll clean after this. Safekeeping. Done and done. Now what? In the bowl of a standing mixer. Ta da! Big red. Ba, ba, ba. Or with a handheld mixer, don't have one. Beat egg whites at low speed until just broken up and beginning to froth. I can do that. I don't have enough room for this shit on my counter right now, though. I need this for the eggshells. This is relatively clean. I just used it to cut parchment. Put this here. Put this here. I have lemon juice for later, cream of tartar for later, secret weapon for later. All right, so I'm cracking 12 large egg whites. So a dozen eggs, a dozen eggs. To avoid issues with shells and other assorted goods, I'm cracking into a bowl. I'm gonna collect the yolks I'm not using in here for something later, maybe a custard or perhaps a creme brulee or maybe I'll just eat them. That'd be gross. Um, we'll see how it feels later. So, 12 eggs. How many am I gonna break? Hopefully not. Z 
Zero says that the brown eggshells are harder to crack. I don't know. Is this true? Someone on the internet is going to know the answer to this. Tell me below in the comments. Thank you. Appreciate you. One. Top. This way when I crack the egg, right? One at a time into this. If I get any shell in it, I can easily retrieve it. If there's a bloody egg, I can easily discard it. And just generally, it's just easier to deal with. Come on. Let's go. Release your white. Really? Just cling to it? Let's help you along then. My hands are mostly clean. Mostly. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Who can name what that's from? Is my family weird that we quote each other like random movies and shows all the time? I don't know. Is that normal? Do people do that shit? This is almost relieving. Like stress relieving. Like, ah, yes. Until I break a yolk and I'm pissed off about it. It's very sad. The yolks are just pretty looking. Look at them. I should make those egg yolk raviolis again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video where I make egg yolk filled raviolis. They were delicious, but a lot of work. If I made the dough not from, if I didn't make the dough from scratch, English, um, they'd be easier to deal with. But they were damn delicious. Let's make those again. Yeah. Is there a special occasion food? Boop. Let's see if I can not break any yolks out of 12. Super stress relieving. I'm so relaxed. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Boop. Created an egg yolk flour. Oh, I can't wait to have Thanksgiving dinner. Mostly because stuffing sweet potatoes. Jay makes a mean turkey. It's really good. Um, my aunt makes stuffed mushrooms. They're delicious. What else do we usually have at Thanksgiving? Corn with uh, scallions and bacon and red pepper. Also delicious. It's all delicious. We just love eating, if you couldn't tell. So we're going to top the cake at my cousin's house with whipped cream or powdered sugar, whatever people want. Um, I guess you could do like a berry topping if you're feeling like doing a berry topping, but I, I, I don't. I don't even know why I'm making this cake right now, except that this is super soothing. I always have ideas of grandeur, you know, before I 
complete my shifts. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll be totally okay to do that when I get home from a 12 and a half hour shift. Yeah. After working three nights in a row, that's great. I'm, I'll be in great shape. Great shape. Great. The greatest of shapes. And I'm a night owl. I'm a fucking night owl. I have always been a night owl. No! No! You're my fucking perfect fuck! I'm okay. It's okay. It's fine. The last one broke. Because it's a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. My streak! My streak! Um, anyway, where was I? I've always been a night owl. Can't believe that last one broke. Super disappointed. <laughs> um... Stupid bitch. Um, no, I've always been a night owl, and I, I love night shifts because when I worked days, I was a miserable human being. More miserable human being. And, um, but no, working a 12 and a half hour night shift is stressful because you are not supposed to be awake that long. When I was a night owl, it was, you know, until like 4 a.m. and then I go to bed. But now it's like, nope, you have to be awake and functioning until, you know, 7.30 in the morning. Totally awake and functioning. And then you still have to get home. And if you have to do anything afterwards, it's like, oh, God, why? Why did I do this? Like, right now, why? 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 It's 11.47. And I'm, why? 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 <laughs> All the laws of nature are just no. No. And I'm lucky because I can sleep during the day with almost no problem. Six, seven hours, no problem. It's fine. I have coworkers who cannot. They sleep for two or three hours and they have to go back to work. Or they have children and they have to, you know, do it with their kids. God, everything's such a mess in my house. This was Zeos. This was me. Zeos. Um, I'll give that a proper lid later when I have time. Why, Slider? Why? Um, but yes, I am a night owl, but night's still, still hard. Still makes no sense to the body at the end of the day. And uh, you miss a lot of things because... Hey, you want to go out that night? Nope, working. Literally. All night. And it ruins two days. Two. Because the night before, the day before, is ruined because you have to go to work at night. So all day long you're thinking, shit, I need to get, to get a nap in because I have to be awake all night. And the day after, I thought that was an egg white for a second, but it's lemon. Ha! Brains. They're funny. And then the day after you're exhausted so you have to either sleep or suffer. So you just play the sleeper suffer game a lot. A lot. <laughs> I'm really good at that game. It's my favorite game. I'm really, really good at it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Done. Blah, blah, blah. Beat them at low speed until broken up and beginning to froth. Add cream of tartar and salt. So, I'll talk now about the secret weapon because I don't have vanilla for God only knows what reason. Zio, since he's staying at my house, um, bought this for me as a gift, I guess, for allowing him to destroy my life for a week or so. Um, it is vanilla and rose herbal salt for baking from a little store nearby that just makes weird herbal things. Not weird. Unique herbal things. I'm tired. Words again. So this is just Himalayan sea salt, organic rose petals, organic vanilla beans. So I don't have vanilla, so this has vanilla in it and rose petals, which is a mild sort of scent, perfume, smell. it's not strong. It smells really good, so I think it would lend itself to an angel food cake, which is so plain, if you've ever had an angel food cake. It smells really good. Meh. So this is going to be my salt. Instead of using regular salt, we're using vanilla and rose herbal salt. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So, let me just read ahead so I know what I'm doing. Cream of tartar salt, beat medium speeds till whites form very soft, billowy mounds. Blah, blah, blah. Then medium speed continues, and then we're going to put the sugar in, the plain sugar. This. One tablespoon at a time until the sugar is added and the whites are shiny and form soft peaks. So, in egg white land, duh, that's what it's called, a soft peak is when you lift it up and it collapses. It forms a peak and then the peak is very soft. A stiff peak is when you lift it up and it's just a perfect peak still. 
Um, we want soft peaks for this. Blah, blah, blah. Add the vanilla, lemon, which I don't have, lemon juice, which I do have, and almond extract, which I'm skipping because I'm allergic to life, and beat until just blended. Can do, can do. Okay. And then more things happen. This all is going to move pretty quickly once this has starts happening because I don't want the egg whites to devolve and just death. I don't know if there's actually a time limit, but I feel like once you do it, you really have to follow through. Um, place the flour sugar mixture in a sifter. Haha, <laughs> I saved it. Set of a wax paper, sift the flour sugar mixture over the egg whites and about three tablespoons at a time, gently folding. With a spatula, sift any flour sugar mixture that falls into the paper back into the bowl with the whites. That's Chewbacca. Gently scrape batter into pan, smooth the top, give pan wraps. Bake until golden brown, 50 to 60 minutes. Okay, the rest of that doesn't matter. So this part, honestly, it's not a complicated cake. It's just, you have to be awake. I feel like, like you have to be functioning, and I don't know if I'm really functioning right now. This is, something goes wrong, oh well, fuck it. Anyway, low speed. Until broken up and foaming. You do. Now I need this and this. Tired. I consider that broken up and foamy, so one teaspoon cream of tartar, which this is never the right size container to actually do any of this shit in. Tartar, which makes it more of a mess on my countertop than anything else. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of table salt. So instead of that, we're gonna use hopefully secret weapon salt and not destroy my cake salt. This is an eighth. This is a quarter. Hopefully that's enough to actually give it some flavor without being ridiculous. And now it's mounds. We're going to go medium speed for mounds. I feel like I should have sprinkled that better. It's kind of lumpy. Oh well. Fuck it. <laughs> we didn't sprinkle that very well. No. No. Or I should have added it while it was actually mixing. That would have also made sense. Sometimes you don't make sense when you're tired. It'll figure itself out. Or not. And I'll just have weird issues. Taking its time. I think my nose is too stuffy to actually smell anything. Not that I would smell roses and vanilla, I guess. It's not enough to actually produce a smell, I'm sure, but, you know, curious. Hmm. 
My impatience really wants to just start eating sugar right now, but I'm not sure if that's gonna work out or not. So... Uh... Shall we? Oh my god, I'm so tired. I've been awake since Angel Food Cake. <laughs> I've been awake for 28 hours at this point. I'm really tired. Um, So I made Angel Food Cake at Thanksgiving. I just ate dinner and dinner's, dinner's, dinner's gone now. Dinner's in here. Um, And I'm really full and I'm at the end of my rope. So we're gonna get this out of here. So it baked for... A long time. I baked like 60 minutes at 325 and then I got golden brown. I did the poke test, which that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> when you poke it when it's hot, it springs back and you know you're good. Um, It's cool now. They, they tell you to cool it the entire, like, cool completely in the pan, which is rare. Usually it's, um, you know, take it out of the pan. So cool completely in the pan, which, which I did, um, upside down, which this is, this, this is, I don't know if you can see, this is taller than this so it has like a stand to allow air circulation some of them have like little legs so now we gotta get this this out of here because it literally is just it's in there um like i said before it grows up the sides of the pan knife jay's knife my cousin i'm at my cousin's house um and just i'm gonna try to be careful and not destroy the pan or the cake theoretically right Oh my god, I shouldn't be doing this this tired. This is a terrible idea. It's a little terrible idea, guys. It's just fucking... Next time I'm doing this working, sleeping, holiday thing, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna rage quit. And not help them with anything. Do do. Do do. Thanks to everyone delicious. There'll be videos of all this. I know Jay did videos. I think Z did a video. If you like our videos, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> um... I'm not always this sleep deprived, but when I am, I'm really sleep deprived. <laughs> I wish I could send you guys baked goods besides cookies, but there's just only so much I can do in a month. Um, worth every three months, whatever, you know what I mean. No, it's not. The middle's weird feeling from my brain. Ole! Okay. This is going to be interesting. I hope it comes out without too much of a, a fail. And then, of course, we have to try it. Okay, I think that's, that's it. So, put that down there. That CC, look, see? Because that's uneven. But, pray for me. Nothing, nothing happened. God help me. Uh, uh. I heard a clunk. All right, all right. It's not totally even, so there's definitely air bubbles or something. Let's take off the wax. Parchment? Parchment paper. Ooh, it's not even on this circle, which upsets me egregiously. Um, Ah, angel food cake. Do I have my phone to take a picture of this? I don't. Mm. I want to fix this, but I don't want to fuck it up. No, there's no way. This is <laughs> this is how it's gonna be. It's such a soft, spongy cake. Like before when I poked it, it's just a <laughs> off-center cake. Bitches. I mean, I don't want to fuck those people. They'll eat some, right? Right. I take a picture of it. Hold on, hold on. Don't look at anyone. I'm getting my cam, my phone, my camera phone. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. Even though it's really off center, but say lovey. Make it look like it's centered. With the magic. All right, guys. You ready to try this? I'm ready to try it. 
Let's do. Oh god, they said use a serrated knife because it would do that. It's gonna try to deflate, so. Be one with the angel food cake, my friends. I should get a plate now. Oh my god. I'm ill prepared for this entire situation. I'm ill prepared. It's so fluffy, man. It's just so fluffy. I'll try a piece. You ready? It's like a sponge, it's like a marshmallow. Mmm. The texture's unlike any other cake. It is like a marshmallow and a sponge. I don't taste any of the rose. I do taste some vanilla though, so there was a success there. Well played. Mmm. Whipped cream in this. Refreshed fruit. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder if orange zest would work. Or if the oil in it would affect something. That would be amazing. So, an angel food cake. Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. But this is delicious. Nom, nom, nom. Should feed some to someone. Nah, fuck them. They'll figure it out, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Mm hmm. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye.